Local restaurants in our community bring us together. With great food, great people, maybe even a few great songs. Storyteller Erin Valley is here now with more on how one local woman overcame hardships to bring her passion to the community once again. So you might see a familiar face here, or maybe you're just wondering what happened to Angie Ruley. Here's your answer. You might remember Angie Ruley from a story CI Living aired back in 2017. Angie was the owner of the Bluefish Cafe in Elliott. And last October, I interviewed the new owners of that very same restaurant, now called the Triple H Cafe. So what happened to Angie? Where is she now? And why did she close her beloved Bluefish Cafe? best view in town for the sunset it's so lovely here you know when I was in Elliot I had the sunrise here I have the sunset so it's just gorgeous here from owning restaurants to performing in musical theater cooking and music have always been two of Angie's biggest passions and here inside the restaurant at Railside Golf Club Angie finally has enough space to put a piano I have a lot more room now to do fun things and make more food. I have a lot more refrigerator and freezer space. But for a while, playing music and cooking wasn't something that Angie was sure she'd get to do professionally. I could grip, I couldn't turn a doorknob, so I just lost that the use basically of my right hand, which is my dominant hand. So I couldn't use a knife, obviously, to cut anything. I couldn't hold anything. So it, the job in the kitchen just I couldn't do it anymore. Years of flipping burgers, handling trays, and pulling fry baskets strained tendons in Angie's hand. After multiple surgeries, Angie was forced to close the doors of the Bluefish Cafe and focus on her recovery. Then I ended up a Mayo patient. I, I called Mayo Clinic and I said, look, this is a problem for me. I am a chef. I lost my business. I'm also a professional musician. And so these are the money makers and I need it fixed. Angie put over 15,000 miles on her car, driving back and forth from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. But after months of occupational therapy, she's doing better. In August, Angie became the kitchen manager at Railside Golf Club. And when ownership changed last month, Angie found herself in charge. She switched the restaurant's name from Trainwreck Bar and Grill to Bluefish on the green. So I'm the owner, I'm the cook, I'm the bartender, I'm the banquet manager, I'm everything. Now she's in the process of recreating the menu and returning back to the staples that made the restaurant in Elliott so popular. Homestyle cooking and those house-made buns are still the focus, but she's also working on specials that challenge her creativity. You know, when you taste, take a bite of, of, you know, the fish taco today, and you taste everything, you've got the sweet, you've got salty, you've got a little bit of spice, um, you've got crunch. So there's all kinds of elements, and I, I love color, I love texture, so I just like to combine that into the things that I make. Angie also has a few new ideas she'd like to put in place. We just got a broaster, so we're doing broasted chicken now. Um, I brought in a, a, a buffet on Sundays. But even with the challenge of being a one-woman band, Angie's spirits are high. I mean, I have friends coming from all over, and it's just, it's just really nice to have, you know, rear ends in the seats. And she still aims to make her employees smile. Like today was fun back in the kitchen. Angie had music playing and we were, she had dance party on the freezer and we had a little dance party back there. But most of all, I want people to be happy. I want people to leave happy, you know, not just full. I enjoy cooking for people that live to eat. Living to eat. That sounds like this one. I, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad way to go. Uh, those tacos, by oh, the way, look amazing. So good. And I'm not even like a big oh fish gosh. taco person, but I those, mean, you fry a fish and it's going to be delicious. Those look amazing. Yeah. By the way, the group of people at the piano at the beginning are all in the same, the same yeah, production, Bright right? Yeah, Brightstar in Danville. And go see Guess our boss, Pete. He's in it, too. So Shout out. I mean, I got a little sneak peek there at the piano. Beautiful voices. Definitely be a good production. Wow. I had
had no idea she had gone through all of that since um, her time here on CI Living. I so that's know. fantastic. She's, you know, risen and, and now is doing great. I know. She was so active on the show, and then Ryan covered her, and then went out to her old uh, cafe in October, and yeah. now she's back and better than ever. So. Wonderful. Good for her. <laughs> Making Thanks, fish Sarah. tacos. Yes. Appreciate it.